to a third world country, yes, the home of the longest continuous burning tire fire in the continental United States, possibly even the world, uh, the not so lovely, the not so delectable, the not so delightful, it's Aaron online. My nose, you know, it is cold. How cold is it? We got the wind. Hey, I had an icicle on my nose. That little snot booger thing that hangs off your nose when it gets cold. <laughs> oh, it was, Dennis I, just I, took a big bite of a donut. Repeat that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, the wind is coming up. I'm in the office, but we might get lucky and hear some of these wind chimes in the background uh, 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 while we're talking here this morning. Clong, clong. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, it, it, it's really kind of cool sounding, so we'll see what happens here. You know, uh, I reported last week about a company in property preservation doing a little discrimination, or at least it's perceived as discrimination by a lot. Uh, they haven't really responded. Well, the one guy responded and he lied, but the, uh, the actual owner of uh, uh, Cerro Services has not responded, so I can't really, you know, make a, a proper assessment. But over the weekend, a lot of reports of insolvency issues with this company have come in. Uh, apparently, not only are they telling a company you have a social media presence and you associate with, they can't work for, for them, but now they're not paying the contractors. So if anybody out there in, in Radio Land, uh, you're, you're listening to us, lean the properties. Don't play with this company. They're they're a bunch of garbage. And if you are mm -hmm. labor, boycott the company. What they're company hard. is that they're again? Really it, they're called Acero Services Incorporated. They're uh, in... Oh, what the heck is it? Uh, uh, Bristol, Pennsylvania is where they're located. Um, okay. And they're the, they're the former C-level employees that ran a company called Asset Management Services into the ground with, uh, uh, by cheating HUD out of vast amounts of money, uh, uh, billing for services that were never completed using forged photographs to do so. And they also had an illegal... Um, what they call the early pay system. And it was basically you, after they took 20% of the money that uh, you were make, uh, generating, they would make you pay to get your money in a specific set of time, violating the Prompt Payment Act and the Service Contract Act. So uh, uh, they're not good people, and they're just not good business people. I don't know how and why they're still in business. How they got awarded the contract, I have no idea. They, they should have never been awarded a contract after what they did with HUD. Big mystery, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, again, property preservation, it's the tail end, and who's directing that show? The too big to fail folks. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. When I say property preservation, what's in front of that is the too big to fail mess when we got the foreclosure crisis. So it, it's a very convoluted industry. It's unregulated, so there's no oversight in it. So people kind of, it's kind of the wild, wild west. Um, you know, something while I was on hold, this came in uh, uh, while I was uh, uh, looking at stuff. A guy from Forbes, Paul Posse, believes, it's his theory, that these terrorists that did this deal over in France were using a PlayStation 4 to communicate with because, and, and this makes a lot of sense to me, it's very difficult to monitor an IP-based phone system when you're looking at a cell phone or a landline. Those are easy to monitor compared to an IP-based phone system. So it's very possible these, uh, uh, whatever these idiots, I, I call them idiots, and to, they'll always be an idiot to me because anybody's going to go take a life in the name of a god. Uh, that's an idiot, I'm sorry. But uh, uh, the, uh, uh, they just can't eavesdrop on, on this stuff. What... This is what it is, I, and I'm trying to get my head around this because I don't do the PlayStation or, or anything like that. But what he says is they could simply be in a PlayStation network party together chatting away, and there's no way to monitor or eavesdrop on mm -hmm. that form of communication. Yeah, that, that, and, makes, and Jim, that makes sense, yeah, actually. Yeah, Jim, you were talking about our, our, our rights, as they say, our un inalienable rights. One of them is our First Amendment. Right. And I'm going to read something. This this lady, this happened in England after the, after the attacks over there. She was arrested under Section 19 of the Public Order Act, which relates to the display of written material, which is threatening, abusive, or insulting, with the intention of stirring up racial hatred and for producing 
malicious communication. I believe in the United States, we call that bullying. Mm. In England, you can get arrested for it. This lady posted some stuff up after the attacks. No Muslims are welcome in my bar, period. You cannot come in. I don't want you in my bar. Things escalated, and she made a comment. This is what got her arrested. She made this comment. I hope ISIS blows your family up or bombs your family, something to that effect. And uh, uh, that is when they went and arrested her for that. But that will tell you the difference overseas, America, and perhaps, and I'm not saying I agree with what's going on in Europe, but perhaps that's the reason they don't have the violent crime issues in Europe that we have over mm. here. Yeah, it's something to think about, to move for thought. looked pretty violent over the weekend, didn't it? Oh, boy, howdy, huh? Mm. Man, I mean, that's just insane. And, 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 and you know, it's like I say, I, I have never understood anybody claiming a religion and claiming a god or a deity or anything of the nature and then going and taking a life in the name of the deity. That, to me, is the purest form of insanity that I, you can come up with I thought we got done with that in the Middle Ages with the Crusades. Uh, you know, it, it's like it's kind of been going on ever since we've been writing about what each other's doing, I guess. I don't know. It, it's just really weird how people use this religion thing and, and talk about utopia after life, but yet, at the same time, they're taking life to get to utopia. That just don't ring in my... Uh, well, I you, just can't wrap my head around that concept. Why, well, you can oh, rape and enslave. Yeah. Yes. Burn people alive. Rink, cut their heads Yeah. Out. Cut their... Uh, you know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, it's strange and, to me. And that's good. I, I don't I don't understand it either. Eric. But you know what? As, as long as I uh, uh, talked on the idiot subject, hmm. Johann Sebastian Bach, if I decide to be an idiot then I'll be an idiot on my own accord. One of his most famous lines of all time. <laughs> uh, of course, Bach is, uh, you know, the 1812 overture that uh, ELO did, uh, uh, roll over Beethoven and stuff. Uh, uh, but he, he was a great, uh, 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 I'm drawing a blank, producer of music. He, he just, he, he, his arrangements and stuff were really good. But that, I, I thought, was a very good uh, um, uh, statement there. Um and I don't know if anybody remembers this gentleman. I'm sure many from my generation will, because he gave us a whole new appreciation for penguins. He was in Rocky 1, 2, 3, and 4 in Grumpy Old Men. But we know this guy as the penguin on the Adam West Batman series. Happy birthday, Burgess Meredith. Uh, uh, we lost him a few years back. Uh, but what a great talent that guy was. It, it, he was really a character. And let's, really, let's, not I, forget I he was, let's not forget he was Rocky's manager, too. Yeah. Way to get yeah. Aaron, uh, Aaron, I hate to do this, but we're yeah. going from caller to caller. How can we get a hold of you out there at Alad LLC? Hey, 775 230 9915. We're going to be here making wind times again today, folks. I'm going to get a rubber mallet and see if we can get some different tones on the on the website, www.alladay LLC. Going to be a gorgeous day. Let's hope we get some music later with, with, with all this wind. Let's all have a great time. Let's all be safe out there. Alright, thank you. you. That's Aaron out in Silver Springs, Nevada. I wanted to hear those wind chimes. I don't know about you, Jim, but I wanted to hear them ringing in the background. I just happen to have some recording of his wind chimes. Oh, okay. Well, maybe they don't play sound that like the they're not like chimes. They're like bong bong. Bong 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 bong. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go from Silver Springs, Nevada to Wall Street with our final stock market report this morning on AM News.